It kind of looks like a baby skeleton. I was honestly expecting it to look more like a star. Through the static at the corners of your vision, an aberration materializes before your eyes. Everything about the entity in front of you is foreign, unknowable, and frightening. So far, however, it has made no signs of movement. As you find yourself petrified by mortal fear, Arkin grits her teeth and manages to mutter. Guild Ruby Tear. The Star Devourer. It destroyed the fleet. Killed my people. She attempts to say something else, but her words fade away into static. Perhaps now that Arkin is face to face with the thing that destroyed her people, the weight of their loss has finally hit her. Yeah, because she definitely seemed like she was just brushing it off earlier. You've never seen her trembling like this. It's clear, however, that the monstrosity neither knows nor cares for the pain in Arkin's heart. This eater of worlds lives only to fill its hunger. All you know is that the Star Devourer must be stopped, no matter the cost. For the people of Earth, you steal your nerves. For the Arkin, you take your weapons in hand. For your guild, a fire blazes within your hearts. Now is the time to live up to your own legend by securing a future for your world and Arkans. Let the final battle begin. So this is beyond the myth then. Whew. Yeah. Nothing left to do but to do it. I wonder if we could still walk around it and just have her leave. Obviously we're not going to do that, but... Inventory. Um, no reason not to be fully prepped, right? Food. Because this is the last thing we're ever going to need it for, right? And then... Forest fish heals a bit of HP. Whew. Let's do this. Star Devourer has appeared. Oh, cool, we got the Miasma armor off. All right, and there is no running from this fight. Uh, yeah, let's start him off with some one-two punches. Uh, I still... Whoa! Star Devourer and regenerating parts, because of course there are. Rocket Engine and Bomb Chamber. Let's try a smoke light first. And then she is actually... Actually, let's have a Bryce do it. Here Analyze. Take a look and see what we're up against. Energy tube. Sound cannon. Rocket engine. This thing has a million parts! Star Devourer. Okay, so this bit's got the most HP. Mm. Um, we'll start off, yeah, tentatively, we'll start off with Thunder Break. I shall finish it. Okay, did we? Okay, I guess we just got the one. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Full burst. Sorry, everyone. I don't. Were we supposed to to guard or something? I don't know what that was. Hmm. So should we open up with an all-out attack instead? It's. Beyond me, what we were supposed to accomplish right there, though. Hmm. So, I talked a little bit, and I probably put that episode in the description of this one. But I talked a little bit about what we would do if it came down to us needing the ultimate equipment in order to, to tackle this thing. Honestly, there are so many different, like, going into it completely blind, I feel like that's a fool's errand. If I feel like we need to use the ultimate armor, I'm just gonna look up how to get it. I don't, I only have a few formaldehydes. I don't, I'm sure they must be end game FOEs, but I'm not, 
I'm not gonna screw around and make this take even longer by trying to do it blind. Yeah. But for right now, we're just gonna worry about trying to get past the first turn against the Star Devourer. And then, okay, all this, I'm just gonna pick up when we're in front of it. None of this BS. Dang. Okay. Tried to sneak around it, but apparently the Star Devourer is too smart for that. I think we could just, it, it looks like there is at least one square of space between it and that void. So, we might be able to bypass it. I, we can reseal it. Like, I was mashing A and it just let me, it was like, hey, if you want to reseal it, you can. We're not gonna, but we could. Okay. So, it's gonna open up with full burst. Hmm. Same as before, Skydive. This time we're going to have him uh, analyze the actual start of our... Oh, whoops. We can't do that. We're going to all-out attack. Uh, we have to pick which part the thing comes from? Uh, it looked like it was coming out of the energy tube. A one-two punch to the actual start of our... Wilting Miasma... I don't know, let's test our luck with some Chaos Smoke. Uh, and then... We didn't even get a single actual turn against this thing. But that's the Energy Tube stunned at least, so... Everybody's more susceptible to it, but can they even be affected by it? That's the question. Legs were sealed. That's something. Okay, Bomb Chamber failed. And it's got regenerating parts. Um, I guess next up we're gonna... Yeah, the actual Star Devourer is what we need to focus on. And then she can my Asthma Armor. We'll keep trying for the Chaos Smoke even though it feels like it's a Fool's Errand. I don't think I don't think we're gonna get the chaos smoke off on this thing. That's an okay full burst. What the heck? It doesn't seem like full burst does anything, just reduces us to, to zero immediately. Okay, so we've got a new tactic. The all-out attack worked on the uh, worked on the energy tube, and it didn't full burst us immediately. So we're actually going to start off with an all-out attack. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure I targeted the energy tube. Okay, we did. But uh, we're gonna start off with that. Then we're actually going to try to kill the energy tube before it can just one-shot us next turn. So we definitely don't have too huge of a window. I guess we can spare my asthma armor, but let's smoke blight, and then she's gonna focus chant and thunder break. And uh, there we go. And so everything else is standing ready, which is fine. Oh, I guess it might have been a bit presumptuous of us to think we could kill. Okay, yeah. I probably shouldn't be speeding through it because it. I think it used. It said it tried to use its rocket engine to one shot us. Uh, dang, we're really close, but we're not gonna make it. Yeah. Maybe we should try defending. Except for Morgan. Morgan can be revived. Why didn't it? There it is. It there's no. You guys see that there's no <laughs> HP total popping up from Morgan, right? Like, she defended, but she got killed anyways. I don't know, cause it's clear we've got to kill the energy tube, but we just can't do it quickly enough. I don't think anyone's moving fast enough to get in there. Uh. Okay. Whew. 
I think, uh... Because there's no... We don't even have... I guess we'll save the map data. But we don't even have any way to analyze it. Like, if we try to analyze, we get full burst at the first turn. We've got to take care of that energy tube at some point. Or, we've got to take care of the energy tube in order for us to really get a shot at this fight. And well met, my brave hero. Of course. I'll be glad to Do we even... An analysis scope, dude. We just need... Well, we would just need one. What do we need in order to be able to purchase an analysis scope? Good to see ya. Items. Cloudy augite. What'll it be? Did we get those from the jagged peak? Uh item compendium. Cloudy augite. Mm. Tutelary Forest. But it's a special it's a special drop. Oh. Mm. Dang, cause what I'm what I'm not trying to do is like crawl around on we're not trying to like crawl around on our hands and knees to find a cloudy uh, uh, cloudy augite so we can know what's good against it, or at least I don't want to do that on camera. There's not really a way around it though, because that thing is doing close to three thousand damage to everybody with full burst. Like we either get rid of that or we die. I'm thinking. Okay, I think I. Uh... We do still have some. Let's let's take a look at custom. Uh, whew, do we have anything? May bind the enemy. That stun knife that we got. Um, you probably that was that happened in like a single. It was just a few seconds in the in the episode that's probably in the in the description. But the stun knife, it that's gonna be the main thing. Like, that was our, our hint that stunning is going to be the main thing for this fight. We can't give it to anybody because that would gimp our damage, but... Mm. Try shield Negates up to three enemy attacks for one turn. But that's the thing, though. Try shield I... We've used Tri Shield in the past. I'm not 100%. <sighs> because that's the thing. It, it would still be the same. We use Tri Shield. We block the attack for three of our teammates. Two people die, anyways. Because it still goes off. And then we're in the same spot. Like, and we might not. The way it's set up, I think it might. Bryce has 33 unused skill points. Uh. Let's him breather. Good. But yeah, uh, what the heck? And it's not like the Dryad either, because this time we know this thing is going to try to hit the win button every time. I don't think, okay, it said Star Devour and Regenerating Parts. Worst case scenario, that, uh... It's that that energy tube is a regenerating part. So halfway through the battle, when we're mostly spent, it'll come back and then we're screwed. So that, I guess that just means we've got to hang on to Juniper's all-out attack, but... Ugh. What to... How to handle this more like... Resistant uh, decreases their resistances to binds, and that's three thousand damage. Even if we've got the ultimate equipment, it, we, it would only help us succeed in trying to kill it faster. We wouldn't, it wouldn't help our survivability. But I think that's the baseline we're gonna need. I'd feel better if we had the ultimate equipment. And, and like I said, I'm not gonna try screwing around with 
trying every single sort of strategy against, uh, against all the endgame FOEs. I'm about to go look it up and get that stuff. So uh, give me one second, guys. So basically, this is really going to depend on whether or not we can get the sleep on Star Devourer. If we can get the sleep on Star Devourer, then we're good to go. If not, then we <laughs> have to redo this. All right. And attempt number, I've completely lost count how many. This thing is definitely, man, like the way that we were going, like how I was originally approaching it, how really how I've been approaching all of these boss battles. I was never, the way I was going, the strategies I was, I was able to come up with before I screwed this attempt up, the strategies that I was able to come up with, I, we were not, <laughs> we were not very close to actually being able to defeat this thing the way I was originally going. It kind of sucks, I mean, which I understand, like, this is definitely, it's a super boss, so it's, it's something that, like, if you're, like, the people who come up with the really crazy Extra and Odyssey strategies, Christ, dude, that thing wanted to kill Bryce. Like, it's definitely something that you've got to, I feel like it's something you've got to be, like, a super Extra and Odyssey buff, really, in order to... Be able to think your way around, but I. But now it sounds like I'm just making excuses for why I had to borrow somebody else's strategy to do this. But honestly, like <laughs> we were getting blown out, dude. Like it wasn't like there was no competition. The way it was, like our TP, it really. Oh, we got the stun off. Um, our TP just could not keep up. We missed. Hmm. Wow. But our TP um, couldn't uh, and damage output could not keep up with this thing with with um this thing regenerating parts and also attacking the Star Devourer. At least not the way I was fighting because I fight this I was I was fighting it like how I handle the regular boss battles. Like we bring an assortment of items, we try to make sure our damage is as high as possible, and at, towards the end we were inflicting sleep as much as possible or panic as much as possible too. But it's just, it wasn't really a sustainable strategy. At least not against this thing. Eerie Siren, which, yeah. I don't know what Eerie Siren does. It has yet to actually, oh, we win. But uh, Eerie Siren has yet to actually do anything in any of my attempts. Um, So everybody will defend and then Bryce will slap the Star Devourer. I don't know how many uh, attempts that I left in, but this was, it was not an easy road to get here. Like, <laughs> we got the World Eater Core and a whole bunch of XP, 209 million, seven, uh, 209 million, 209,007, um, wait, what? It is 2 million. Oh my God, I can't count. What has this thing done to me? 2,097,152 XP. <sighs> You've discovered a new monster, Star Devourer. You've discovered a new item, World Eater Core. I feel good about that. After what feels like hours spent dodging the Star Devourer's relentless attacks and striking at its openings, the monstrosity finally wavers. And <laughs> we definitely did spend hours fighting it. Maybe not in that particular fight, but you guys definitely would have the ability to view all of my attempts. It's probably in a video in the description if you're so inclined. Like, I don't want you to come away with the <laughs> with the impression that it was easy for me to get to this part. Like, it may have been easy in the end, but I I any nothing that I was coming up with was actually going to ever be capable of beating that thing. The Star Devourer collapses to the ground. After quivering for a few intense moments, it finally stops moving and at last falls silent. You did it! You destroyed the Eater of Worlds! It was all for Arkin. Your party erupts in uproarious cheers as you embrace and congratulate one another for this epic feat of bravery. Arkin, who had been watching the battle, steps forward and gives a flourishing bow. Hmm. I was really hoping she was going to join us at the end, but I guess not. She wasn't lying about having no combat ability. Incredible. Guild Ruby Tear truly is the stuff of legends. To be honest, I doubted any of us would live to see this moment. Yet here we are, in front of the fallen Star Devourer standing victorious. 
Yeah. <laughs> we died in many non-canon <laughs> versions of this episode, so don't worry about that, Arkin. You were right on the money for the most part. When I first came to Earth, I never dreamed humanity could grow so mighty as to put the Ark into shame. My imagination was lacking. There's a cheerfulness and a sense of relief on the alien's face you've never seen before. You realize that Arkin doesn't just see you as equals now, but honestly looks up to you. She is proud to have seen you come so far. There is more that I must convey to you. Thank you for defeating the Star Devourer. From the bottom of my heart, as humans say. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that it was from Infinite, but check him out. Dude's pretty good. My people will be able to meet our ancestors in the stars with pride, Arkin mutters as she turns her gaze to the heaven with misty eyes. A moment later, she returns her gaze to you before walking further into the chamber. Okay, and now, not on accident, we can move forward. You follow her into the cosmic corridor. This is the exit, Guild Ruby Tear. The space that connects your world to the one that I must now protect. I'd be lying if I said that I'm not sad to leave Earth after all these years. But my duty there is finally finished. In that regard, moving on instills me with an, uh, instills me with an overflowing sense of serenity. That is why I have decided not to stop here, but to keep going to wherever I am needed. Turning her gaze back toward you, Arkin offers her hand with a smile. Well then, Guild Ruby Tear, let's go to the next planet, our new home, together. So she wants us to go with her? It is your choice whether to take Arkin's hand and journey to a new world, or to return to Arcania after seeing her off. I mean, we've bested everything here. After all, you're mythical adventurers now. You're free to choose your own destinies. Wait, what? I really thought- I thought it was about to give us, and like, the option of what to do. Okay, I guess I can put my 3DS down. Ugh, very gently. Okay, so this is actually it. The actual, really final end of the game. Like, I guess- I think it bears reiterating, I do really enjoy Extra and Odyssey games, but- I'm more of a, like, I don't want to say that I'm a casual player, because I, I do play on advanced. I'm just not, like, I really don't spend a whole lot of time pouring over my builds, I guess. Like, if I read something that sounds pretty good, I'll go ahead and invest in it. If I read something that doesn't sound very good, I won't invest in it. And, and I guess that's just how I operate. I like to imagine that most of the Extra and Odyssey players are like that, are like me. I really don't know. Um, I think one of the things, after getting beaten so often, I think one of the things I was actually most interested in is what other people did to, and not other people like Extra and Odyssey gods who know a million different ways to one-shot the boss on turn one, but like normal people, how normal people handle these uh, particular bosses, like, was there somebody out there who was able to just kind of war of attrition into death? Who was able to somehow keep up? Maybe if you farm a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of Amritas and farm a whole lot of um, Hamal Primes, and then just bring like 40 of each of those, you might be able to do it. Something like that. But that takes forever though. I don't know. I wasn't able to. And I tried, like, I, <laughs> I hope the videos that, I hope the video in the, in the, um, description proves that I really tried, guys, <laughs> to beat this thing with my own strategies, it just wasn't, it really just wasn't happening, and I didn't have anything else, like, I was wanting to beat this last week, but I wasn't able to, that's, <laughs> I was still stuck on the boss, which is why I had to upload what pretty much amounts to a filler episode of us exploring the 30th floor. But, I don't, if, if you're still here, I'm really glad, I appreciate that you've come this far with me. Um, at the beginning, I undersold what I was going to be able to do with this. Um, I overestimated how difficult it would be to put out these episodes with the inactions. So I, I talked a lot about how these weren't going to come out um, non-stop like they usually do, but 
Um, I'm glad I was able to, well, once I came back to the series after maybe a month or two to finish up other stuff. Uh, I'm glad we got this far. It's Kirk Thornton directed it? You guys see that? Kirk Thornton? He's a voice actor. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that. What if it's not the same guy? Okay, but anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, like, I greatly appreciate you coming this far um, with me playing Exion Odyssey. Uh, I do intend on playing Exion Odyssey Nexus and Persona Q. Um, I'm mainly interested in Persona Q, but like I said, I, I still enjoy the EO games. Um, I don't think they come out until February, so it's going to be a little bit before I come back to this. Um... I don't really know much about the game, other than it's supposed to be like a celebration sort of thing. So, I don't know. I don't think every single class is going to return or anything like that, but... It'd be cool to... Once it comes out, I'll that's when I'll pick it up and go in as blind as possible. That's how I usually go. But, uh... Yeah. Guild Ruby tier. It was nice. It was nice. Hmm. The only thing... I guess... I didn't really expect it, expect it to take this long. I think I've been playing this game for maybe a year? A year or so? Just about. Man. Okay, so is there save your cleared game? Okay, yes. And uh, we'll save it right here. We're not gonna get a second star or anything? Yeah, okay, there is something. It looks like a moon. So I'm I'm assuming that where I imagine that it would give us the opportunity to fin. What? So that's the end. Okay, so the guild did make a choice without my input. That's cool, though. Um, I don't know if that was like a parallel version of Earth or like a completely alien planet or something. But yeah, that's literally the last of the last. Okay, guys, if you are still here after all of that, thank you extremely very much. Um, there are, it was Werebear, and then there was, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll put your name in the, um, on the screen, but Werebear, and there's one other commenter who've been here for, like, months, who really helped me out a lot with, um, because up until the end, I didn't use guides at all, so there was some really obvious stuff that I missed. But Werebear and um, that other commenter whose name slips my mind, um, I greatly appreciate you guys for all the help that you've given me. Um, and everybody who's still here, like I've been saying, I will see you guys for Persona Q2, for Exion Odyssey Nexus, um, and for any of my other game series you happen to watch. So thanks guys. <laughs> Until next time.